Hi Aries, welcome back to the channel, Aries the Emperor here. I am back with another general reading for all of my Aries collective. If you guys are new here, welcome. This is an all Aries channel for all of my Aries placements. Cross watchers, you are welcome as well. To everyone, just take in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with you and that is okay. Do not force the reading. And always thank you to all of you who show love like subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a reading um to those of you who comment donate share book personal readings and shop the website i am still running the sale personal readings um, i'm going to end it on tomorrow but all candles are still going to be on sale going forward so if you'd like to connect with me all of my information is in the description box located down below so let's get into a second reading go check out the reading i did before this if you haven't already um so let's see what comes out this may be a continuation let's see what other messages spirit has for you um and what you may need to know at this time all right spirit what messages do you have for my aries collective the magician oh everything you need to know is is right within you you have everything you need to do anything that you want at this time is what spirit is saying heavily. Okay, this is the power. You want to build a, a greenhouse, build a greenhouse. You know, you want to be a chef, you know, get the journey started. You know, you want to be a traveler, um, a healer, just whatever it is that your heart desires at this time, a trade. Um, just a creative and you're wanting to explore that more and then whatever that is acting singing writing poetry um musicians you got the seven of wands here so just you know make sure that you are um not su succumbing to the crowd here which i don't feel like you are people could try and make make you feel guilty because um you're able to do something that maybe they're not you're able to manifest. You take it serious. It's not just something that you're doing for show. Um, and uh, the fakes around you, like I'm getting this to someone who is fake spiritual and you're real spiritual. These are finger pointers. Someone trying to hold you accountable for something that they wouldn't dare be able to look in the mirror and, and um, face themselves. message of spirit judgment look how beautiful this card is i love it judgment yeah like how can somebody judge you judge yourself you are exactly what you're supposed to be right now you're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing it's your path it's no one else's don't let anybody dictate you in this next chapter in this next leg of the race this new cycle People are going to judge. People are going to have opinions. And that's how you know who's really for you and who really understands you. And then um, who is not for you. It's just that simple. A lot of you guys are taking on a lot of responsibility. And you can't please everybody. Seven of Pentacles. You have a plan of, of action, a course, you know, something that you may already see growing for you. Um, but this is an energy of you nurturing what you have and, and, and seeing how it goes and how it grows and what spirit is, is going to bless you with after that. More is coming in for some of you guys. And it's on the account of people having something negative to say about you. The chariot. Some of you guys, the people who call themselves being your downfall going to be the reason. You're going to be the reason why they fall and, and, and you rise.
six of wands. Yeah, Sagittarius energy. You're kind of a big deal, Aries. So start acting like it is what this energy is saying. You've been a big deal. Start acting like it. People want to see some real fucking magic happen. Yeah, just tell them to step into your light show. They won't be disappointed. The lovers, the king of swords. Some of you guys are about to learn things about your relationships with whether this is family or someone that you're romantically involved with or just people in your energy in general here. It's some import, very important things that I feel like you are about to learn or about to be shown to you here or um, information that's going to get back to you. Could be something controversial revolving around you with the two of wands, Aries energy. Um, but your decisions decide your future. That's all that you need to do here. Nothing else. Nothing else, Aries. Nothing else. It's your future. And it's bright. It's always bright. It's just everybody that's, you know, trying to throw shade and dim it. And look, toxic witches. Mm -mm, be cautious. It's a lot of, t uh, the seven of wands is a, a gang of witches here surrounding one witch. So you could be a witch, a white witch. Um, and, and you have some type of dark, <laughs> angry witch here um, that's following you, masculine or feminine. Take it how it resonates. It almost feels like this reading is repeating in a sense. And literally toxic witches coming out after your energy the two of wands and you're not somebody that even surrounds yourself with a lot of people here or even have a lot of friends or people that you trust for that matter and it's because of this reason you have to isolate yourself you have to draw away you know like if you even pay attention they're drinking red wine in this card and she's drinking white It's an energy where people try and outcast you on purpose. They like, don't give you an opportunity to even fit in. Granted, you, you don't care about fitting in, but um, this just like people who deem themselves titles as the cool, popular people um, or, you know, the know-it-alls, the professionals, whatever. Um, and, and maybe looking at you and not even acknowledging, you know, what you know or more than no, you know, than them. Queen of Cups. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. Look at this cat. It's like she's a cat lady over here. But the Ten of Pentacles is, is somebody um, that knows what they want out of life. Having it all looks different to everybody. It's not the same movie. It's not the same um, perspective. And you are somebody that um, that gets under people's skin. Because they see when they do come across it that it's not fake. It is actually you. People get stuck in these circles where they're pacified and they have yes men around them. And they have people that continue to um, just enable their behavior and don't put them in check. But you're somebody that's going to put people in check. Um, whether it hurts or not. The star. And that's what really makes you, you, that's what really makes you stand out because you don't. You make people take accountability here in some way, shape, or form here. And that could turn toxic people, um, already toxic people. It, it can really make them show their, their, their true colors out to you here. Um, and their devil horns come out. <laughs> Yeah, the high priestess. Some of you guys are very strongly spiritually connected. You know, trust your gut, your intuition. You know, this is a time where it's, it's, it's heightened. Yeah. 
Make sure you're recharging your energy. Nine of Swords, Gemini Energy, <laughs> the Moon, Pisces Energy. Wow, the high priestess and the moon. This could be some type of self-reflection. And like I said, excuse me, um, as far as intuition goes, you're trusting your gut, the moon and the high priestess. This is something that's very intense. Someone is worried about you finding out something. They've been keeping it to themselves. Two of Cups. Yep. Someone is losing sleep about having to admit something to you. You finding out something. Or someone is just stressful. Or someone is just stressing out. King of Pentacles. This could be over finances. Or some of you guys could be getting a, a receiving a spike in your business in some way, shape, or form that you don't see coming. The number three could be significant. Strength card. Leo energy. Four of Wands, Aries Energy. Don't let somebody play with you, Aries. Don't let them play uh, whatever this mind game is, this manipulation. Don't fall for it. Somebody is really, really good at Nine of Cups getting their way, having their way, making something look good. Weaseling their way into something. And this could possibly be your life, <laughs> your world. 
Saturn energy. So beware, you know, of creating new cycles at this time here. Because like I said, this is a new moon. Um, and that could be any type of cycle that you create, whether it be negative or positive. You know, this is Leo energy. And that has to deal with the spot in, spotlight, whether that's good or bad. You may not know what you're getting yourself into before you're already into it. So the moon is something hidden. It's something that you don't see coming. Um, whether that's somebody expressing something to you. Um, or it's just a change of, of, of your energy, your frequency, your feelings and emotions um, that has to do with someone else coming in and trying to realchemize your energy here to make it fit to their benefit, their advantage of some way, shape or form here when it comes to you. Temperance. Somebody's playing witchcraft with you and you're already the magician. So they playing a dangerous game when they get through. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, the world. Like I said here. This is your world and somebody is trying to tap into it. They're working over time. Somebody's been waiting on this moment. Or this is a moment that you've been waiting for. To really get to get out there and shine and put in your work and showcase what you do, who you are. Either your time is coming and spirit is saying, get ready, like Aries you up next. But all these different like energies and all these different powers um, just conspiring, even against you, you know, is, is still uh, an energy where, like I said here, you're in the magician. So everything you already need, you already have here. You just got to hone and tap into that. Give me one more spirit. You just got to keep going because you'll never get anywhere standing still. Five of Wands. But it still don't change the fact, you know, that you somebody's competition. You're somebody somebody feels they need to keep up with. You're someone that that people feel like that they'll be validated if they get the opportunity to make you look or feel less than four swords, tire you out. So be good to yourself, Aries. You know, the world is, is already hard enough. Okay. It's what spirit is definitely saying, Empress Energy. But your place is your place. You know, you're not lost. You definitely found. And I'm going to leave this reading here. Hit that like and subscribe button for more messages from me. I'll catch you later. Ciao.